Hello friends, welcome. Now, in one of my videos, I had a comment why when we create a Laravel project, in some cases we use uh, only Laravel or Laravel with Livewire, with Inertia.js or Laravel API with Vue.js and React. And in this video, I'm going to show you where we can use only Laravel and where we can use uh, live wire where is better so when we create a project a simple project and we don't need uh, reactivity for example uh, a dependent drop down or a search like this so we don't need javascript we can create a project only with laravel and blade and for me it's the simple and the best way to create a project such a project so for a project a uh, simple project better way is to create only with laravel you can use a blade and you can get all the blade directives all the data from the laravel okay now if you want to have uh, some reactivity we can use live wire which is a uh, kind of a laravel blade for the component and for the class is something like a laravel controller as you can see here here is the component which is almost the same as the blade and here is the class which is like a controller so with live wire you is easy to understand and you can learn very quickly now if you want to learn a uh, vue.js or react and you want to create a project a single page application i think the best way is to use inertia also inertia offers a simple way to connect laravel with Vue or react and here we have an example we have a controller here we just instead of returning a blade a view blade we return the component in this case a view component and here we add the we pass the prop users and we define that prop here in the component and we can use the view here and with the uh, inertia js also we have uh, some uh, packages from the laravel team which is for authentication we have breeze and also the jet stream okay so here we can have inertia with view or react for the api and also the jet stream is coming with inertia and i think if you only want to use a single page application and for example you know laravel and vue.js or your team and you because with inertia you can have all the project all the code in one project now if you want a separate uh, front end project and separate back end project you can use laravel as an api or back end and vue.js or react to create a single page front end application so for example in your team you can have a developer so only work for the backend developer as a backend developer and someone who works as a frontend and you don't need to mess with the frontend and backend code so you can have separately okay now if you want to start and learn this, uh, those languages the frameworks i think uh, it's better way to create a project to start and learn laravel and maybe Vue.js or React because if here I have make a search for uh, jobs on the Indeed and also on the Upwork and for the Laravel you can see we have 1000 jobs here around 1000 for uh, Vue.js we have around 1000 
for React, we have more than, we have about 20,000. And for LiveWire, we have less than 100, so we have only 60 jobs. Because uh, LiveWire is like a, LiveWire needs Laravel to create a project. Indeed, with a React or with a Vue.js, you can create a single page application without uh, Laravel. You can use the React with another uh, backend, for example. And instead, the live wire is only is working with uh, Laravel. So for that, we don't have uh, too many jobs there. But as I said, the live wire is very easy to learn if you know Laravel. The same thing we have in the Upwork. So for the Laravel, we have around 1000. Vue.js about 1000. React, we have 4000. And Livewire, we have 35. Now, uh, one more thing I want to show you is when you search for Laravel, and if I click here in some of the jobs is required to know Vue.js or React as a front-end. So if you start a learning, I think better way is also for this one to create, to start learning Vue.js and React instead of uh, Livewire. But if you want to know only the, as a, to start working as a backend, you can start learning Livewire because it's very easy and you can have a reactivity. So for example, the file uploads, you can display the image, you can preview the image and you can have a dependent dropdown and also the search, the same search we had on the Laravel, like this. Okay, that's it about this video. Why are we using those technologies and where is the best or here we have also the Alpine JS, big I forget. And Alpine JS we can add in the blade and we can use as uh, as the jQuery. So here for example we initialize the data and say message I love Alpine and we display that here. It's a lightweight UJS, I can think, I can say. Okay, that's it about this video. I hope I explain why we use those technologies and if you want to start, what you want to learn. If you like uh, content like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. It's going to help me to create more videos. So see you in the next one. All the best.